Hello again. Uh, today I'm going to run this new to me U36B through the paces around the layout. Just arrived uh, from eBay. Uh, this was made in uh, 1974 and looks really good for its age. And uh, I think I got a really good deal on it. But uh, just to uh, point out some details with the U36 um, here. Um, these came out in 74. Another one from 74 was the very famous Spirit of 76 U36B. Um, this was the first uh, diesel that uh, Lionel had come out with, the first new diesel since uh, the GP7 had come out in the early 1950s. So this was uh, really MPC uh, taking a chance and dipping their toe in and new tooling uh, to come up with a new locomotive. Uh, so the the U36B, as it turns out, was not a really popular locomotive. Uh, most of them were ordered by Seaboard Coastline, um, and uh, that, of course, exemplified by the uh, Spirit of 76 locomotive. Uh, interestingly, the Seaboards, all of the Seaboard U36s, had the Blomberg-style EMD trucks. Um, so that's actually prototypically correct. Uh, for U36s. Um, Seaboard Coastline had most of them. They also went to Auto Train. Um, and then Conrail also inherited, uh, well, not inherited, but ordered uh, a couple that had originally gone to Auto Train and had swapped out the, the Blomberg trucks for regular um, GE trucks for those. Interestingly, the U36, between, somewhere between 1974, when this one was made, and 1979-1980, when this U36 came out, notice the difference in the noses. Uh, the very first couple of years, we had the lower, um, the nose headlight, but they changed the mold later on, um, took the headlight off of the nose. So for some reason, uh, they went through the expense of retooling these to take that out. Another difference, uh, the very first years, um, we had both uh, headlight and illuminated number boards on back ends, the newer ones only on the front end a little cheaper. Otherwise pretty identical. Uh, the U36, by using the EMD Blomberg trucks, basically uses the same frame as the GP7. Uh, so as far as scale is concerned, it's about two inches too short, uh, but with a selective compression, it looks about right. And it's about as big as they could get it and still have it go around 027 curves. So, without further ado, we're going to take this one for a spin and see what she can do. This is uh, basically straight off the mail truck. I haven't lubed it or cleaned it or done anything to it. Um, but let's see what we've got. to run it and do photography at the same time. Excuse the mess on the layout. I've been doing some work. I just stopped to give this puppy a test run.
And all right, we'll do more with that later. But there it is, the Chessy U36B 6-8470 from 1974. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.